So I've seen you on television for the last 24 hours, and you're generally a happy person. But this is like another level of joy. Yeah, I'm bursting. I really am. I think one of my most pissed off days in the campaign was when Kamala dropped out because yeah. I felt like she didn't have a chance to even compete. How you doing, man? How you doing? Good. Hey, I got some masks for your family upstairs. Can I give them to you? Yeah, sure. Can I, can I give them just two seconds? Let me just run. They're right there. There's a package prepared for you. Hold on a second. Sorry about this. I'm trying to give it these all my neighbors. Can you catch? Thanks so much. Oh, be well. You, you know her really well. Yeah. I think it's now becoming obvious to everybody that, wow, this is not just the right pick, but, and I don't use this word loosely, it, it is an epic pick. We're in, like, day two, though, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't disagree with you. The, the initial reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. Which is the right? first big hurdle, right? Well, that is. Yes. And it's about cementing a positive narrative. Yes. Trump's out on Fox calling her a mad woman. The meanest, nastiest, mad woman. There is an attack machine that is unparalleled, that is focusing its sights on her. What is your advice to her in this moment? So I, I just, Kamala Harris does not need my advice. Okay, then. I, and let me just be clear. She's too humble to say it this way, but she is now going to be one of the great black women of American history. And if you look at what this country has done, there have been attempts always to try to destroy them. And, and to think that Kamala has not already experienced that mm -hmm. at every level of her career, uh, would you be mistaken? So throw everything you want at Kamala. She's one of the tougher people I know. I, I, and I get the toughness and the resilience, and I think that's all, that's all fair. But the country also demands of women that they not be too tough. Yeah. I mean, that was evident in her yes. remarks. She started with the prosecution, and she spent a fair amount of time talking about the motherhood piece. That is, that was intentional. But, but it's not intentional, it's truth. And let me give you an example. I get to have those uh, more personal moments with Kamala. I'm sitting in this home during the pandemic, uh, uh, isolated, it's my birthday. And Kamala calls me up and she's just like, what you doing today? Because she knows my significant other was not there. And I go, well right now I'm trying to cook some lentils. She's like, oh, let me show you how to cut an onion. She goes, you're my, you're my brother. You, I don't mind you seeing me like this. So FaceTime me. So I put on FaceTime and there she is in curlers. She and I are both senators trying to get ready for a busy day. But here is Kamala Harris in curlers teaching me how to cook. The problem we often have with the people we see through our television screen is that they're one dimensional and they're not. And I've had intimate moments with Joe Biden where I've seen the sort of the, the depth of who he is and, and, and his heart. So let me give you an example, because Kamala and I had personal conversations about it. You had personal conversations with her about Biden on the trail? Oh my God, yeah. Wow. Early in the campaign, we were both frustrated about how he characterized his ex extraordinary ability to work on both sides of the aisle. I, I was very triggered, as many African Americans were. Late one night, I'm coming off CNN doing an interview on this subject, and he calls me personally just wanted to talk to me about this, to hear my heart and my hurt, mm -hmm. and let me know that he isn't perfect, that he is like America, still wrestling with these issues and learning. To me, it, it, it is about what real strength I find is, it, it is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. For Joe Biden to be at this moment in American history, this white guy, from Delaware yeah. to be able to say to America, I don't always get it right, but I'm gonna wrestle with this as we all need to do. He can be a healer in a way uh, that I think is gonna take a lot of people along with him on that journey. These two folks have an alignment of virtue. I just feel so confident that Kamala is gonna put a lot of points on the board. And show America how to chop an onion. <laughs>